Hello, good afternoon. Um, my name is Isaiah Pretenzio. Um, the title of my speech is called Dealerships versus Independent Shops. And my goal here is trying to lean more towards the independent shops because I don't know, how many of you here are vehicle owners? Have, to, have any of you taken your car to the shop yourself? Not your parents? And have, have you guys had any, like, tough time going with it? Because the price is kind of outrageous and whatnot. And what, what kind of shop did you guys go to? I took mine to the uh, produce and auto. Oh, OK. And uh, what about you? Do you remember? Oh, it's just a dealership. Just a dealership? Just. <laughs> well, pretty much most of us, if not all of us, at one point in our lives will own a car because that's what our infrastructure of today is built for, is cars instead of walking. So, one of most of the reasons people have a tough time with auto shops is the types of repairs that are done, because sometimes you go in expecting to have one job done, and then here they come out with a million others. <laughs> and then, or you get your job done, and when you get your car, and you see how much the bill is, and you didn't expect it to be hundreds of dollars for a front brake job. But <coughs> most of the time, those non-satisfying results usually come from dealerships instead of independent shops. There's 292 million registered motor vehicles and commercial vehicles that are on the road today. And over 70% of them are repaired by independent repair shops, compared to the 30% that is done at dealerships. And that's mostly just because of recalls and warranty jobs. You can't get those at independent shops because they're not dealerships. Dealerships work with manufacturers and if an independent shop wanted to repair your car for a recall or something, or a warranty or whatever, that independent shop would have to pay out of pocket just to get the information, the tools, and the equipment needed to repair your car. So manufacturers and dealerships actually make it harder for independent shops to fix your stuff. And independent shops are kind of one of the only auto shops around that will, you know, work with you if you need. They'll tell you what you need now, what you can wait on later. Uh, if your pricing isn't in, in your area that you're comfortable with, they'll figure it out. And nine times out of ten, that's how what I've experienced, and that's what other people have experienced here. I have some uh, responses from people that have taken surveys. Um, like some of the responses being <coughs> said from uh, Philip Lavella of Stockton, Stockton, PA. He said, when I first moved to the area, I went to a dealer and felt I was told I needed a lot of work that wasn't necessary. And when he took his Jeep Liberty and his 1999 Oldsmobile to a small independent shop, he said he was giving so much advice on it and this is what you need. This is, this is what maybe can wait until you get more funds or if you're able to come get it changed out. And he was more satisfied with the independent shop than the dealership that was just throwing parts at him, running a bill up on him, and everything that, you know, we don't appreciate at all because we're here to get our cars fixed from, so we can get from point A to point B. Another response is that the Michael Bird Burren from Cleveland said that he thinks that they charge really high compared to other places that he's been to as in independent shops. He said that oh, he goes to independent shops for repairs unless it's just for a recall or warranty. Then he will make an exception to go to a dealership. But nine times out of ten, he said he'd rather go to an independent shop. And there's two surveys that I really looked at one's from a consumer report, and they did a survey with 349,000 vehicle owners, and about 75% of them were happy and satisfied with independent shops, and the rest of it was just dealerships because 
like I said, dealerships, they have special technicians that will work on specific brands like Porsche, Lamborghini, Ferrari, mm -hmm. BMW. Um, I think like Mazda, the closest Mazda dealership here, I think is in Fargo. So like, if, so if you needed something very specifically fixed on a Mazda, and the independent shop doesn't have access to it because they're not a dealership, and they don't sell cars and whatnot, then you have no choice but to travel a couple tens of miles, hundred miles, wherever you are in the state, just to get your car fixed because the independent shop doesn't have access to that information because dealerships and manufacturers won't allow them to. And right now, since 2012, even they put it in just this February 2 on February 10th of this year, it's called the Repair Act, which ensures that vehicle owners and repair businesses have access to information, tools, equipment needed to maintain vehicles, and also gives the right for us consumers to tell them what we want repaired now and what we don't want them to touch at all. But dealerships are not all that bad. So if you buy a new car and you get a warranty on it because everything comes with powertrain warranties and stuff, I would take it to your advantage to use that warranty because it's free. And for every recall that you do get on your car, I would take it to a dealership because it is free. Also, you don't have to pay out of pocket or anything for any of those to get repaired. And the relationships that you can build with independent shops are way more successful and way more long term than dealerships. Dealerships, you're kind of just a number in the system. You're not really, they don't really know you by name. But when you come into an independent shop, shoot. It's like he's your neighbor and you just do whatever is necessary to get your car back on the road without any stress or drama in between. Ooh. But all I can say is that go look around, go check out certain shops, test them out, go in for an oil change or something simple, nothing crazy. And if you like it, Maybe that might be your permanent shop from now on, and you might get discounts, you might bring the prices down, you might, a lot of different things that dealerships won't offer to you at all. Yeah, that's, that's about it.